Okay, part two of Susan McLeod. Um, pity, 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 um, then we have the short C to lead you into bar two. Atam badarikam pahi badarikam. Again, we want that nice rhythmical motion. Um badarikam, um badarikam, and then that simple G grace note on the C bang on the beat in the third pulse. Um badarikam pahi badarikam. Now with those double tackums, they really need to be strong. Badarikam one two three. Badarikam, badarikam. Um badarikam pahi badarikam. So those first two bars. Antiriyam pitahiya atam badarikam pahi darikam. Bar three. Ha ba bum. Now that's where we have that G grace note on F. And then in beat two, we have the F doubling. Okay. And the first part, we had the, the long F with a short high G and down onto the F doubling. In this part, it's different. And I think that's where some pipers get that confusion. They get their fingers into the, the habit of doing the same twice. So make sure that when it's a, there's a high G, you play the high G. And when there's not, you get a nice solid F doubling bang in position. So in part two, ha pa bum pa pa pia. Now, we really want to look at all those um, semi-quavers. This is becoming a theme that if we play them short, but long enough to still hear them, that sets you up to make sure that the G grace note is bang in position on the D on the third pulse. Ha ba bum pa pa pee. Ha ba bum pa pa pee. Now it's it's all about being subtle with it, okay? We don't want you all of a sudden rounding things out. We still want to stretch out the dotted notes, but the short notes still have to be heard. Ha ba bum pa pa pee bum. Making sure that that strike on F is bang in position. Into the last bar, a break, and divide, grow, and divide, and again making sure that we don't have false fingering occurring in that last bar. Okay, with our top hand fingers. Okay, so that whole line sounds something like this. Nice rhythmical half double on C. Um, we have that short, uh, sorry, the long high eight before entering the second line of part two. Antarado. We've, we've uh, focused on these triplet runs in the past. Antarado. One, two, three. Tam, pitahi, bam. Again, making sure all these simple G grace notes are bang in position. And we've covered these last two bars in the previous part. Pre intivity, making sure that we really focus on planting these half doublings. Pre intivity, gro ibrahim, gro intivity, go bram. So that's every two pulses. We're really having to make sure that our high A doesn't fall onto position before it's supposed to. Bri intivity, plant to brahi, plant to divity, plant brum. Bri intivity, grow ibrahi, grow intivity, go with the Again, being sympathetic to those short high A's. Still want them to be clean and heard, but making sure that they're still short. This does take some practice. Okay, so part two sounds something like this. Again, nice ripple effect with your trolling movements. Okay, enjoy learning part two of Susan McLeod. Well done.